Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm Jim Weber with your tropical update. We continue to watch now tropical storm Zeta. You're seeing it getting better and better organized across the Western Caribbean. Now, later on tonight, uh, I do think this is going to become Hurricane Zeta. It doesn't really have all that far to go. It works its way over the Yucatan as a hurricane and then moves up into the Gulf of Mexico. And as it moves into the Gulf, it's going to start to make that right-hand turn. Uh, now, a couple of things are going to happen as it moves into the Gulf. It's going to start to encounter some stronger wind shear. So that will pick up over this system. Remember, tropical systems, they don't like that wind shear that blowing over the top of the storm that will disrupt the circulation. That combined with some cooler waters in the northern Gulf of Mexico, it's not going to have as much fuel to work with. So these two factors may be enough to keep this from intensifying anymore or may even actually weaken this a little bit as it approaches the coastline. But at any rate, we're still looking at yet another hurricane, another tropical system working its way right towards the uh, Louisiana coastline, an area that has been affected so much uh, throughout this entire hurricane season. Computer models in pretty good agreement with that same basic idea. Uh, what we have going on here is a ridge of high pressure which is sitting to our east. It's building back over the state. So it's keeping anything from moving towards Florida. So what you have is a system that is just wrapping around that area of high pressure. That's why you're seeing a forecast track with that big arcing curve. Now, we look at some of the various computer models. We're looking at the European and the GFS, some of our best computer models. And in the short term, again, we're having pretty good agreement among these models. Uh, you're seeing maybe the GFS a little bit further to the east with its solution. But the one thing we're also noticing is the GFS uh, does weaken this a bit more as it moves across the northern Gulf of Mexico. The European not doing quite as much with it, and it does push it a little bit further towards the west. So those are some of the aspects that we'll have to continue to watch as we go through the next several days. Of course, we're going to keep you updated right here on MyFoxHurricane.com.